It is time now for the Roadie Roundup. We are chatting about some of the headlines making the rounds this week and some of the fun stuff. Let's meet our panel this morning. Elise Major from Providence Monthly joins us along with Heather and Maddie from Light 105. Good morning, folks. Good morning. All right, let's get right to it. A new poll, 57% of Americans say that aliens probably exist, while just 25% don't believe. Heather, are we alone? We are not alone. They are definitely here, and they better be listening to Light 105. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you really? No, seriously. I mean, do you really think that we're alone, or do you really think that there are aliens? I really believe that there's aliens. Okay. Yeah, I just think that we don't have the technology yet to see them. All right, sounds good. Maddie, what about you? Are we alone? Well, it's a it's a subject I actually take quite seriously. Believe it or not, I host a paranormal themed podcast on the side, and um, I, I believe. Put it this way, that there are things in the sky is now no longer a debate. Your own government has admitted as such. Now, whether they are little green men, aliens from another planet driving them is another question. So okay. are there unidentified objects in the sky? 100%. Are there aliens driving them? Don't know. Okay. All right. That's a good answer. Right? I think there is probably something else, you know, something else out there. When you look at the sky and you see how big and massive it is, I think there's something else out there. Mm -hmm. At least, are we alone? And are they reading a Providence Monthly? Oh, they have to be reading Providence Monthly. Yeah. Um, you know, what's so funny, it's like, I remember, like, Gen Xers might remember, back in the day, there were always, like, all these time life books mm -hmm. that would show all of these things that were happening, and it would be, like, dismissed as coincidence, you know, like... <laughs> So I'm still sort of like open to it, but maybe I'm sort of like dismissed as coincidence. Like, I don't know. All right. Okay. All right. Next up, a new poll asked people what essentials they absolutely needed. 55% uh, said medicine. 53% said electricity. 51% said gas uh, for heating. 48% uh, said their electronics. 46% of the people said that they could not live without Wi-Fi. Elise, what is the one thing that you cannot live without? Uh, cookie dough. Oh, yes, uh, that's a good one. I know. Actually, I was thinking, uh, you know, like water and electricity are huge, you know, because you want to have like a shower. Right. And then you want to be able to like turn the light on. Mm -hmm. So I think... I think those are the things I want, aside okay. from cookie dough. All right. Oh, I, I'm with the cookie dough. Matt, Matty, what do you think? What is the one thing you can't live without? Um, My wife and child. Oh, will. look at you. Oh, ever. I'm, I'm just kidding. My golf clubs, of course. <laughs> okay. All right. Heather, what about you? <laughs> you know, when I first heard about this, I was thinking among the things that people have already answered, like, I love my Excedrin migraine. But <laughs> at the same time, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't live without dogs. Okay. I, I think they make our lives better. Yeah, that they do. That they do. All right, next up. Original Blues Clues uh, host Steve Burns is back with his favorite pup in a trailer for a series, the series' first movie. What show from your childhood would you like to see back as maybe a movie? Maddie? I'm going to go with uh, Magnum P.I. Now, I know that they made a television show based right. on Magnum, but I want a feature-length movie. My only caveat has to include Tom Selleck. Agreed. 100%. Agreed. It is not Magnum P.I. without Tom Selleck. Agreed. Heather, what about yep. you? I grew up loving, loving, loving the Partridge family. And um, I don't think they've done that again, where they have a musical family that's actually making hits that get on the radio and the bus come on yes. we need like a cool bus like that again right just driving around and people screaming i love it okay. Roman Kincaid. yes um, yes yes that's right uh, elise what about you i love those ideas um it's funny because i feel like you know i loved watching all the cartoons and they were all made into horrible movies you know True. like I love the Flintstones. That looks unwatchable. Bo Rocky and Bullwinkle looks unwatchable. Mm. So, you know, I'm going to go with, uh, you know, their ideas because I feel like I don't want them tampering with my memories of my favorite things. I just want to leave them as is. Right. I agree. All right, folks, thanks so much for being with us today. It is always great catching up with our Roadie Roundup panel on this Friday morning.